Hey guys, Jack Close here with CD Gaming and Close Blender. Uh, also in the room, Drew Macy, my partner. But uh, yeah, so if you hear random noises, it's him. But today we're going to talk about some AI scripting for kind of a tower defense game type of style. Uh, kind of targeting, more or less. Uh, you should check out our website that we just made. It's cdgaming.weebly.games. It's got some what we're doing kind of stuff. Keep us up to date. Stuff like that. Also, my YouTube channel, Close Blender. Cool. All right, let's let's get started. Uh, we're gonna be using a line of code that is right here. Physics overlap that sphere, and pretty much what it does is it returns an array of colliders of all the objects in a certain range or uh, radius in this case. So, I'll just show you the example product. So here's just a simple turret that'll track a target that you put in there. So pretty cool, pretty simple. And we're going to kind of play around with this. Uh, as you can see, here's the turret. I have it selected right here. Here's the turret array, or targets array, that's going to hold all the colliders. And I'll just duplicate some more targets. And you can see there's more in there. And then it just picks the closest one. So. Let's jump in the code. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to define some variables. So, turret gun, that's what we'll name it. Open it up. We're going to declare our target variable, which is going to be the target that our turret's going to be aiming at. Also, we're going to need a range. That's going to be uh, a float. So we'll just we'll just define it as a, a six five right now. We're going to need the target's array that's going to hold all of our colliders. And. Uh, a variable determining if we're aiming at something or if the turret's just going to be sitting there for right now. And that's going to be, we'll just have it false to start off with. So, in our update, we're going to call a function called look at target. And declare the function down here. Also, this turret, how we have it set up in here, it's two main bodies. So it's the body and then the guns. And then the gun is in an empty. So when I rotate it, it's rotating. Well, it, it's rotating based on a, an axis, axis right there. So, yeah. We're going to declare the guns as a transform. And then down here, so we're going to ultimately look at the object, but we're not going to want a rotation on the Z or the X axis. We're only going to want it on the Y axis. So we'll go transform dot look at and then the target dot transform dot position. And then we don't want a rotation on the x axis or the z axis. So we're just gonna zero those out by using using Euler angles. And then we're gonna want to make our guns look on the x and z axis. So we'll just do transform dot look at uh, target transform dot position, and then we're gonna want the gun transform. So go in here and guns dot. So and then if it's not and we only want to do this if it's aiming. So just use a simple if statement there. 
and then we can see this sucker work. So we'll drag the script in, turn off the one that works, drag our guns in there, and then for right now, we're just going to automatically drag the target in there. So go ahead and play this. And we'll turn on aiming so it aims at it. And there we go. So it tracks it and always is looking at it. That's pretty much the basis of it. Now we're going to want, say, there's more than one target in the range. And for that case, we're going to have to, we're going to make a new function called find targets. Declare it down here. And we're going to use that line of code, this overlap sphere. So we're just copy and paste it. And also you're going to need this physics in front of it. Otherwise, Unity won't recognize the code. So our targets array is equal to physics overlap. The position, we just want it. The center of the sphere is generating is just at the position that it's at. Radius is going to be range, and we can don't we don't have to worry about the layers for right now. All right, come back to Unity and we'll check that out. Forgot a semicolon somewhere. Oh. Forgotten I. All right, so now we'll come in here and we'll check it out. Open the array up. As you can see, it picks up the target. So, now what we want to do is determine whether the target is, say, an enemy ship or, say, just some random game object that's in the scene. And how we're going to do this is on our targets, I'll unlock this so we can see this. If my computer stops freezing. Okay, we're just going to use this inspector. I just have a simple ID script with an ID variable of one through whatever you want. And in my case, one is going to be an enemy ship. So we can go in here and we'll do uh, find ter targets, we'll determine target. And how we're going to do this is we're going to use a four for statement so so our for statement we can just go over here to target aim and I'm just gonna kinda copy this one so I don't have to rewrite it pretty much it's for var we're gonna declare a name i as the variable equals zero and then we're gonna wanna run this the number of times how many targets or, or how many objects are in the array and that's just going to be the targets, which is the array dot length, which is going to tell us the length. So if the length's one, it's just going to do, it's going to run it once and just do zero, which is the first object in an array. So, yeah. So for this array, we're going to check the ID script. So targets, I, that's the, the object we're looking at, dot transform, dot get component id dot id if it's equal to one we're going to say aiming equals true and the target is equal to targets 
I. All right. Um, target is a transform, and target's I is a collider, so you gotta have to throw a transform at the end of that. Now we only say the targets that length is zero. We don't even want to run this, so we can just do an if targets dot length is greater than or equal to one. We'll do this, and we want aiming to equals false always, unless there's a target. It'll turn into true. So now we can go and test this out. Go ahead and play it. And there we have it. So now it's aiming at it. Now what we're going to have to do is have it aim at the, the closest one. So how we're going to do that is another if statement. Um, we're going to have the target reset every frame just to the transform so we know if it's already found a target or not so if the ID is equal to 1 aiming is going to equal 1 is true if target is equal to the transform that means we haven't found a closer target we're just going to make the current targets or targets that I the target else if it's not though we're going to check the distance. So if we're going to use this vector three distance, so we can just copy and paste this here. If the vector three distance of targets i dot transform dot position and the transform position is less than or equal to the vector three distance of the current target that transform, that position, we are going to make it the new target. So pretty simple. So now we can go in here and test it out. We'll make a new one. So as you can see, this one's the closest one. And if we make it farther away, it'll lock onto the other one. So there you go. So there's a pretty basic way to uh, have a turret or whatever it is, find objects within a sphere, and then determine which one is the closest. You could have, uh, you could also change this if statement to say what object has the least amount of health, and it'll go after the least amount of health one. So you could have that and change different settings like that. But this was a pretty basic tutorial on how to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like, subscribe. See you later.